Hey, good morning, and how are you guys doing today? So, we're back. We're writing on our sci-fi book. I'm going to get chat up really quick, and then we'll move forward. So, we are on Chapter 6. Um, I have kind of idea of what we're going to build in for today's writing, and uh, then we'll be getting into some action, of course. I don't know if we'll actually knock all of Chapter 6 out. It could happen. I, I really honestly don't know on that. It is, of course, 5 a.m., so I am just waking up, and I do have some coffee here, and so that should that should help us. So we're boarding the ship. Obviously, we started boarding the ship uh, at the end of Chapter 5. The ship that we have is a cargo ship. I'm going to probably, in all honesty, change some of these details, such as the armament and stuff, give the light laser pistols that were handed out some kind of name, you know, like where we, I don't know, an X-31, or I mean, not necessarily X-31, but you know what I mean. We'll name the weapon instead of just light laser pistol, um, just for... Uh, having some extra layer of detail i do honestly plan on back ending and writing back in some powers for some of the other cast of characters so it's not just our character who is a technopath and a technomancer um, just because i think it would actually be helpful and i think that we need some more detail and some more actual richness in the in the back i'm not going to do that today i'll probably do most of the back building off of stream what i do know we are going to end up doing is we're going to set up for next chapter in which he's going to get high and then some people are going to lose their lives i actually already know what's going to happen uh, but in all honesty we need to set that up so let's think about what we're doing here right off the bat besides the fact we're boarding i want to get the major things that i want to accomplish um, we're going to intro the corporate guys stuff people at some point uh, i forgot the end in here um one of them Wait, let me let me think of who all we had. I want to go back in here, and we're gonna have to to add some of these. Ryan is friend, blah blah. blah. Salvador's two other men and a lady. Okay, so Salvador's lady is a telepath. And we'll get her name in a second. She's going to establish some things. That's going to allow us to have a view into the minds of other things. What's going on. Um, this is going to establish a lot of this stuff. What? They realize... Okay, boom. That's going to happen. We're, we know we're going to realize that. Uh, let's think of what else is going to go on. Obviously, the corporate guy is the guy with the two cyborgs. We established that the other day. We haven't named them. And I did get this switched over to where we have this set up like this now, to where we're actually able to see what's going on a little better. So 
We've got a Keo. I haven't named corporation number two yet. Um, Okay, so that's going to expand our cash out. Akio also has with him Okay, so we're going to give the lady with Akio magic powers. She's a corporate mage. We don't know what kind of magic she does yet. We'll make that up later on. Don't worry. It'll be fine. Dun, 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 dun. Outside of that, we do want to accomplish some other stuff. We're going to move forward in the, the flying there, right? Phil, we need to back add in a girl that's a junkie that's with him besides this this corporate the uh, telepath or is the telepath also a junkie? Hey, Ierson, how you doing today? Okay, so we're going to establish that. So the telepath is likely who he's going to sleep with later on in our next chapter, which is going to end up getting some people killed. So we're going to set up the betrayal in this chapter, obviously, because by this chapter, the betrayal has to kick in, correct? So let's get into the little details. Obviously, we're going to back build some stuff into this, the past chapters as we come into things that we would have had to establish in the forehand. That's the one good thing about having revisions is we can put something in place where we are without it being an issue because we can always go back and place that somewhere strategically in the past where it was already established. And that's honestly going to be how we're playing this. So let's get into this. And we'll, we'll start knocking out these details that we established we want to knock out, right? I'm going to move that down one more. One, two. By the way, you guys, we're still at page 33, technically, even after I took all of our details and kicked them over to another page. And so let's get this, start developing this other stuff. Dun, dun, dun. We don't have our corporate mage's name, but we will get it eventually, right? We now know Trag has extra people with him, including our telepath. Okay. Okay. Super attractive junkie girl. That's what we're going to call her. 
So where do we want to pull a name for this poor girl from? Obviously, I've been looking up random stuff. Um, let's see. Um, I really like Italy. Okay, how many names do we have here? Low. Oh, they're going to give us what they mean. Okay. Oh, I like this right off the bat. Because it means light or clear, correct? We're going to go with that. Popular girl name. I really swear I just I just copy pasted that baby and copy. Oh, pff. and it it did do it. It just did it way slower than I would have thought. Okay. Dun dun dun. Okay. So we've got. I don't even know how to say that. So we'll, we've got this girl. We know she's a telepath. That that's always going to be good, right? Okay, that's who she is. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, let's get the name for our corporate mage. Let's go with a different country, though. Boy, they're just giving me ideas. Let's go with just a popular girl name for 2023. Mia. Mia works. Mia totally works. You guys feel that works for our mage? Or it's Maya. Maya, probably. That's probably Maya. Yeah. And then we'll go like this. Copy, paste that. Copy. Boom. This girl's down with Salvador, I believe. Where's... And Maya is up here. Boom, boom. That girl works for Salvador. Hey, good morning, Avalonis. I hope you're having a great day. I feel we're doing pretty smooth. I'm going to give these guys some powers in here. I haven't decided what to establish or what we're going to need for our adventure. We know some of them are going to die pretty soon. So, you know, it's always a bummer there. Corporate guy. Okay, did we give him in our story last time? Did, did he show up with some people too, right? Okay, Salvador. I feel we can get rid of those rations too, but maybe not. Okay, so Salvador is standing with two men. Oh, we've got to get Salvador's men in here. Uh, 
Honestly, it's Thug 1 and Thug 2 right now. Right? We all know that. Let's go over here and let's put him down as Thug 1 and Thug 2 until we actually... Uh, Thug 1 and Thug 2. Come on, Salvador. Okay, this guy is Salvador. And Salvador, of course, brought Thug 1 and Thug 2. Duh, what the heck? Trag did not bring Clara the Junkie. Salvador did. Got her so we can get rid of that. Two men working for him. The Vikings were not even introducing yet, guys. So let, let's just be honest. That's a later on thing. Space Vikings. They're probably going to end up saving them to a point, but not really. I mean, they're kind of, you know, just... Well, I haven't figured that out yet, but we are we are bringing in the Space Vikings soon. One of our main, main dudes is a Space Viking. In all honesty, though, Ella Doss, his ex-girlfriend, she's, she's only a main character in a periphery. You know what I mean? Let's just be honest. Cyborg bodyguards. Okay, we've got that, we've got that. Maya, Trag. Trag brought our mob of people. Salvador brought his people. Then there's two men with Salvador. Hey, good morning, Kilman, how are you doing? Obviously, our Viking raiding party people can die for the most part, and it won't affect much. Um, we are going to establish a main character in the Viking group, though. Dun, 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 dun. So we've got all that fixed, I feel, at this point, right? I feel so, too. Two other men with Salvador. Two cyborgs, blah, blah. So we've got to introduce all these people and set up the betrayal. All by the end of this chapter. Because in the next chapter, he's going to make the mistake of going to the medical bay with the little telepath girl. They're going to get themselves high. And we are going to kill one of his companions. Now, do I know which one? No. Can I be honest? We're going to take everybody in the room. We're going to roll a dice. And whoever it says dies, dies. And if it's a situation that we've set up where more than one person will die, then more than one person will die. Um, we do need to uh, set it up to where it is our main character's fault because he went off and had his little trisk with the psychic girl and uh, got high and and did the nasty, you know, type thing. Um, it is one of those situations, you know. Coffee, it's going to power most of what we're about to do. I didn't find out what it's called that you you board a spaceship from so we're going to call it
I don't believe we put that he hadn't been off the space station for years. Um, in revision or in back read, I'll probably fix it if we say it twice, just to be honest. I don't think we need as. We went down the docking corridor connecting the cargo ship to the space station. Years, blah blah blah. We went down the docking corridor, connecting the cargo ship to the space station. I had a feeling of confidence. I had not been off the space station in years, but knew this trip. Let's get rid of that accident. Would change my life. It would change all our lives. Not only credits to be able to. Okay, boom. Oh, yep. Life better? That makes no sense. Okay. What color hair do we want to give her? I think we had a, a dice roll on the last time. So let's write this down. Blonde. Brunette. Brown. Honestly, I'm not sure the difference between brunette and brown, but we'll just go along with that. Um, redhead, right? That's a 1d4. I have a 1d4 somewhere here. Okay, boom. This is a 1d4. Little pyramid looking thing. It's a 4. She's a redhead. Okay, that took care of that.
So if this girl's our telepath, So we're going to have to back, um, put this into the, the, the so if we're going to say he had been noticing her since the, the earlier space station thing, obviously um, we're going to have to back do this. So hold on one second. Let's go back in here to wherever we, we meet these guys. Go like this. I noticed the lady was a very attractive red-headed woman. Okay, so we've got that back put in there. So we can now go forward. Dun, dun, dun. I could not help but to look at the attractive red-headed woman that was accompanying Salvador. See, now it makes sense because we noticed her back there. Okay, so boom, she knows. We are already establishing she's a telebath. So do we just have her speak? Or does she speak into his mind, right? That's always... Because, you know, telepathy and stuff like that, let's not say it's super uncommon, but it's not common. It's just not unheard of in this, this world. So let's go with this. So let's back read back here, guys. We went down the docking corridor connecting the cargo ship to the space station. I had a feeling of confidence. I had not been off the space station in years, but knew this trip would be life-changing. It would change all our lives. Not only the credits to be able to live a better life, but a change in direction, a, a change in direction, and a much needed one. Let's just do this, comma, a much needed one. Yeah, 
I could not help but to look at the attractive red-headed woman that was accompanying Salvador. She had looked over and smiled. Okay. Over. Okay, looked over, smiling at me in that I noticed you way. Okay. I like that. I had been looking at her since the dock on the space station, and it seemed she could tell. Okay. I feel that that's, that's enough there for a second, because we've got we've to work past that. So next, we're going to move forward a little bit more. Oh, we could put down that she's a redhead at this point, right? We know she's a redhead. We also know he's, she's a junkie, right? Because we have it written right there. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so we haven't established this. We've kind of established that she's into him. But we'll work on that a little bit more. Let's see. You know what? We'll, we'll move forward on this. Okay, boom, boom. So we're going to have some crew members. But you know what? We don't need to add them. Uh, you know, let's do. Let's add them into disposables. Because obviously, we can kill crew members right and left, right? So we, we do want to know that it's a skeleton crew, so if we get overzealous killing them, we're going to run out of crew members. That'll be not good. Okay, we entered into the cargo ship's main quarter area. It seemed the... Seemed... Okay. 
I'm going to go along with that. Now let's enter corporate guys. We know it's Accio. And then we'll have to grab everybody that's with Accio. I don't know why I just went there. We don't even need to, guys. We know that Accio is going to be here. Let's make sure that we didn't meet Accio back here. That, that we're just boarding the ship right now. Okay, we got handed guns, blah, blah, blah. Looks good. And I'll fix this up a little more detailed later on. Let's make sure who else is with him. We've got our two cyborgs. We're going to get into details about our two cyborgs later. But... I don't know what same look. You know what? I'm not going to generalize right now on that. We're going to move forward because I honestly don't know what to say there. Let's figure out what kind of idea we want to put there, though, right? Akio walked in accompanied by a lady, the two cyborgs, and two other men. Here's what we'll do. We're going to blue this baby in. So now we know that we have some kind of type of expanding detail in there, right? So we'll skip past that, skip past that, boom, boom.
Is he glad right off the bat? Okay, boom, Accio stepped forward saying, I was not so expecting so many of you. Salvador quickly replied with a nervous smile. I was not sure what we were getting ourselves into, so I thought better safe than sorry. It's okay, right, is what that would be. Okay. Now I'm trying to remember what the the name for uh is it galley. Let me make sure I spelled galley correctly. Galley like that. Okay, never mind. I didn't have the the e in there. Hmm. 
Boom, boom, boom. Okay, da 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 da. It's fine. We have plenty of room. And you, who knows, we end up needing you all. Okay, make sure to grab quarters. Okay, so we're going to go up there and eat or something. Trying to make sure we've got this. Okay. I think it's Dorian, the space station that we have, right? Let's go down here, Dorian, Dorios. Dorios. Obviously, two thus doesn't make any sense, so thank gosh they caught that. I, I would have caught that in revision anyway, but, you know, never going to complain about that. We've got a lot to cover still. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. 
How many people did we have with Salvador again? Two people, blah, blah, blah. I, gotta, I, I, I need to really figure out how many people we have here. Okay, so let's figure out this. We got three people with Salvador. Da, da, da. I think we're Trag's people, and I don't think Trag has any other people, right? Yeah, okay, so we're good. We've got our group and three other people plus Salvador and Trag. That, that, that works fine. Da, da, da. Okay. I feel like that. That isn't how we would say it. Okay. Let's 
So Akio needs to get her attention, explain what's going on. I don't have a name for the system. Make sure we still have sound, right? Boom, boom. Yep. Okay. When we get there, the faster... Okay. I thought I said he is. That's how you know you're not paying attention when you write words that you didn't realize you writ wrote. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's go back up here. This I'll get later on to give some kind of expanding details. It's not going to be a massive expanding. We'll just put a period there. That'll that'll fix that. Okay, so let's read this. Accio stepped forward saying, I was not expecting so many of you. Salvador quickly replied with a nervous smile. I was not sure what we were getting ourselves into, so I thought better safe than sorry. It's all right. OK. 
Okay, yep. We all set. We all settled into our quarters, which were nicer than those I had on Dorios. Then began one by one making our way up the deck, up to the deck, above to meet. I arrived and looked over the situation, and I sat down with my friends at one of the lo one of the six large tables. The two men with him. Oh. With him. Let's get rid of that. And the red had sat at our table. Salvador sat at a table with Accio and his people. As one of the ship's crew members brought us out food to eat. It was what looked like real meat. You know what? Do we want to say it was looked like or just it was real meat? I'll leave that for a little bit. We can fix that later on. Accio stood up, drawing our attention to him, saying, We all want this to go as smoothly as possible. So simple ground rules. No causing problems. We all have three days before we will arrive in the system. So let's get along. When we get there, the faster we get this done, the sooner we're back in a safe space and the sooner you all get paid. Then he sat down and started eating and visiting amongst his table. Feel that that's good. So this is where we start taking care of the other stuff right in here. I don't really feel we have to get into the two men with Salvador. Two cyborgs are over there. Two cyborgs we're not going to get into on this chapter, obviously. Right? We already we know that they're theirs, but we don't need that. We don't need to go into them. We've already kind of established that they're dangerous. They're his bodyguards. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so this is where we're gonna we're gonna establish the other stuff.
you know, I, I don't really like that. What do you think of things? Okay, boom. This is where I told you guys I'm not a master of dialogue. I don't have to do dialogue in a lot of paper, like academic papers don't have dialogue going on. Okay. Hey, good morning, Senka. How are you doing today? So we've got our attractive redhead speaking up. I really don't want to leave so many people at the table because then we're going to have to have them talking and stuff. So let's let's break that up before we start talking, right? Because I, I don't want everybody at the table, like a whole like half dozen people.
Okay, boom. Now we've got it down to just him and the redhead at the table. I like that better. It seems much more manageable. I didn't want to have a 15-person conversation. I mean, we might add some more conversation somewhere in this crap later on. I don't know. I mean, that's a that's a to-be-determined type thing, right? So we've got those guys all taken care of. We've got... The two men with Salvador, we've mentioned them. We, we know that they're watchful eye people and they're invested in Salvador so we can get that out of the way, right? Boom, boom. Seems easy. Okay, next part. The lack of talking was making me nervous, so I asked. Okay, now we got this. We got to change. Oh, what the... Yes, I meant devilish. I don't even know what that other word meant. So the redhead smiled in a devilish manner, saying, I think everybody, everyone is just a little nervous right now, but things will calm down. Now I got to remember what her name was. Is this Maya? Was this some other buddies? Okay, we've got the telepath. Throw in our... Psh. Nonchalant. I feel she would know know that his name is Sam already because he's the technopath. Right? She would already know, know that he's the he, yeah, she's a telepath also.
Okay. Yeah, it doesn't make sense for her to need to ask his name, in all honesty, right, you guys? You feel the same on that? So we've got her introduced. We haven't introduced her telepathic abilities or brought up the... the Whoa, that was butchering that name. Is this Kyra? Is that would would that be Kyra? I don't even know how to say this girl's name. I can't remember what country we pulled it from either, you guys, just to be honest. I mean I'd have to go back through and watch this video, find out where we actually got this name from. I know it's a popular name in some country that we looked up. That's good to know, right? Okay, Kyra. Yeah, I, I feel that that's Kyra.
I don't really like that. I feel that's way too much. So let's break that up, right? Okay, so boom, we'll break that up. Boom, boom. Feel that that's much better of a dialogue. Do we want her to reply verbally or do we want her in his mind now? Okay, we gotta italicize it. Boom, comma. Okay, boom. Okay, that, that seems good, right? I think we're good there. That takes care of the de establishing her as the telepath part. We don't have to establish her as a junkie right this second. We can do that later on. 
I don't even feel we have to establish this lady as a corporate mage right this second. In all honesty, so we can move this. To right there. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Okay, right? Now we're now we're flying through this thing. Okay, let's look over this. We did kick a bunch of information over. I don't think we're gonna need to really in all honesty, but Okay. Okay, boom, boom. Oh.
Well, there we've just established all of what we wanted to establish right there. So we know we can't trust the two guys with him. That's our setup for betrayal. Mia with Akia, blah, blah, blah. Corporate guy is planning some kind of game. Does not trust the two people with him. We've got that token out. Excuse me, you guys. Intro of the corporate brought with him. We already did that. Right. That's, that's end quote. Okay. I feel we just knocked this crap out, you guys. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of details we're going to want to add into this whole thing, right? But on the overall... So... We've already got that taken care of. We're going to have more stuff with our corporate mage girl in this one. But I honestly don't know what exactly we're going to have her doing. This is this is going to be the chapter right here. Corporate mage girl is going to throw down some stuff. We'll use her powers in this one. Probably to fix the situation when he gets some people killed. Right? Okay, internal thought, so we're going to go like that, make it go like that. Okay, so boom, boom, boom. I feel that we're wrapped up right here. By the way, that well should have a comma on it. Do 
da, 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 da. Okay, I feel that that's a good place to, to say that we're there. I mean, maybe I need to add the, as he lays down in his thing. But, you know, to be honest, this, this is where I'm going to wrap it up on this. Real quick, I'm going to see if there is somebody um, doing writing. We've got this set up for betrayal. We actually got everything I wanted to get done in this chapter done. I am back adding in some powers to the other people and stuff like that. I don't know what kind of powers they'll give. We'll probably give somebody telekinetic powers or some crap like that. Um, obviously, somebody's going to have to, you know die soon so we are to the point that we're going to kill somebody just so you guys know um not a biggie but uh somebody dies next chapter i know